Okay, hormones. So this video is a follow-up to one I did maybe two weeks ago, and I'm not going to recap a lot of that. So if you're interested in the topic and you want to catch up, um, I'll put a link, I think, up in this corner and also in the description. So yeah, please watch that first. For the rest of you who have watched it, let's continue. And you may notice straight away that I'm much more animated in this video. Um, and yes, I am back on my regular pill. So I think we can say, you know, last video, that video I was talking about, oh, you know, maybe I'm just misinterpreting it. Maybe it's just that, you know, I've done all this stuff and now I'm tired and I need to recover. But I'm thinking three weeks of lethargic fog and then I change back to the regular pill and suddenly I'm more alert again. I don't think that's coincidence. Like, yeah, there's always different factors, but to me, it's a huge difference. And like, it happened within two days of switching back to my normal pill. Um, yeah, I could feel like my brain cleared up and I'm like, oh my God. Um, now there's some other factors that could be, I'll address them at the end. Um, yeah, no, just like this huge, wow, I can actually think again. Um, I actually have motivation again. Like, you know, um, oh, I've got my, my, you can't see them in this frame, but um, my my uh, cyber wigs are hanging up there, and I've still got them on the like crappy rope that broke. Um, and so like I bought this this you know thicker rope, and I've just had it sitting here for ages because I had no energy to do anything. And it's only just now that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna tie the knots and you know get that sorted so that they won't fall down again. Although my my temporary fix seemed to work all right. Anyway, never mind that. Um, Point being, like, you know, I've had this sitting here for ages and it's only now that I actually feel like I can do it. So clearly, to me, I think that new pill that I tried is just not good for me. Um, I think it's pretty clear, like, you know, I'm just much more, I can actually act like this instead of just being really tired and low energy all the time. Um, but... Okay, so yes, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling more alert. I'm feeling like I can do more stuff. I've been doing some more singing again, which I really need to get on top of because I've got a performance coming up. Um, but one problem <laughs> is um, this morning. So I think today is like day four being back on the regular pill. And this morning um, I woke up pretty early because, you know, my brother was yelling and I couldn't get back to sleep. And I noticed my brain starting to go in these anxious, silly circles about stuff that, like, I can't even do anything about right now. Um, you know, this is stuff that's in the future, but my brain was just going in circles and sort of, like, role-playing how this situation might play out. And I'm just like, like, I know that there's no point stressing about that right now. I can't change it. I can't control what the outcome's going to be. So why stress? But unfortunately my brain just kept going in this pattern. It's not something that I could control. It's not something that I could therapy myself out of. Um, so that was frustrating. And eventually, you know, after like two hours of that, maybe I just got up. I'm like, there's no point lying in bed or trying to distract myself by having something to eat. Um, so I made myself my tea and, you know, had some toast, Vegemite toast for the Aussies in the crowd. <laughs> uh, not that anyone really cares. Anyway, yeah, no, Vegemite is good. It's just a lot of foreigners, I think, maybe put too much on. If you put too much Vegemite, no one can eat that. Anyway, back on topic, back on topic. See, like, now my brain's like, yeah, let's go on some tangents, guys. Um, but no, so I was sitting there, like, I ate my breakfast and, you know, watching a bit of the news on one side, looking out the garden the other side, and I just thought, shit, I actually feel really sad. <laughs> I didn't cry or anything, but you know, I think last night I was starting to tear up a little bit. And then this morning I was just like, wow, I feel randomly sad, like for no reason. And so on my regular pill, I'm now able to feel those emotions again. Whereas in the three weeks that I was on the new pill, um, I don't think it helped my mood, but I think because I was so tired, I was just too tired to really experience my emotions, you know, what, what few emotions I have, which are all mostly negative. Um, but yeah, like, so while I was on that pill, I did have this feeling like, huh, it's been a while since I've cried. It's been a while since I've like really felt sadness. And it just seemed to like a little bit weird um, that I couldn't feel any of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I was really tired and I probably spent a bit more time in bed. Like it was really hard to get out of bed um, while I was on that pill. So what I think, what I think that pill did, you know, like my dog did look through a list and is like, oh yeah, here's the one that's good for depression. And I can sort of see how it might have helped my mood, but instead of 
helping fix my depression. I think what it just did was make me so tired that I had no energy to feel depressed. I don't know if that makes sense, like, because technically low energy can be a sign of depression, but like, I was just so tired and I had this sort of fog, which I only really realized I had the fog once it lifted. Um, I, I just couldn't feel things like anxiety and depression because it was just like fog, 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 tired, you know, that's all I could feel. So, you know, maybe if someone could push through that fog, maybe it would help them. I don't know. Or maybe it's just like, you know, the way my body reacts because my body doesn't react to chemicals the right way. Like anything that affects my brain, it's just, my brain's like, yeah, no, we're going to overreact with a bunch of side effects. So um, I've made videos about that in the past. So just quick recap for people. I can't take antidepressants. I always get really bad side effects or they do nothing. Like <laughs> the ones that work make me feel worse in other ways that kind of cancel out the benefits. So it's just not worth taking. Um, and then, you know, I've also reacted badly to a lot of antihistamines and um, alfalfa of all things. So yeah, um, and it turns out maybe the wrong hormones are not good for me either. I just, yeah, and so, <sighs> I guess maybe there's some merit to this particular pill being on my doctor's list of one that might be good for depression, but for me it just, it's a bit like when you take antidepressants, sometimes it just flattens you completely so you can't feel anything. I think I had something similar to that, but like with lethargy. Um, yeah, so now being on my regular pill that I've been on since forever, um, I don't know, I just, I can actually think again. So. I don't think I'm going to be experimenting with any more hormones. I think I'll just stay on this and try and deal with it. Like it's better for me to have the stability and work with it than to try a few different others and have this unstable, like I, I need stability in my life. I think, especially I'm trying to work through my issues. Um, it's just unfortunate that I can feel sad again. Um, but Hey, you know, I'd rather feel sad than feel like I can't do anything at all. Um, because, okay. So, since that that video um where i was explaining like did the did changing the pill improve my life um since that video i also posted two of my cyber wig videos and also the punk rave australia video and you you know in those i'm like you know doing the guy hi guys la 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 you know that kind of a thing right um i actually filmed all of those videos before i changed to the different pill um since being on that other pill i don't know if i filmed anything i think maybe i just filmed um that that quick screaming video um and then the the video where i was telling you guys about how it hadn't fixed my life i think those are the only ones that i might have filmed oh yeah i don't remember exactly when i started taking that pill but um those ones where i'm heaps energetic none of them were filmed while i was on the new pill and yeah, I think that's why I'm making this update now, because I finally have the energy, and I've also got some observations to make about it, but I finally have the energy to actually sit down and make a video. Um, otherwise, I was just like sort of, you know, I was sleeping in longer than I normally would, and then um, trying to do things with my day, but mostly just ending up binge watching YouTube, like random channels even that I'm, <laughs> there's like what, upper echelon gaming or something? I don't care about gaming stuff. Although, to be fair, I was watching videos, like, he did a critique of some cryptocurrency NFTs thing, and I'm like, yep, yeah. <laughs> alright, but then I started watching more of the videos, and I don't, didn't even understand what he was talking about half the time, and I'm just doing that, playing my spider solitaire off to the side, and, like, going into that zombie funk. Um, but okay, so that brings us to some of the other issues that I had while I was on that other pill. Um, I, I think I had COVID. I'm actually like in in the end of like an isolation period. You have to isolate for like a week if you're a close contact and I think I've got one more day to go um, as of filming this, although no one's checking. But I'm a good girl. I'm staying home until I'm free from New South Wales Health Jail. Um, but yeah, so I was a close contact and they're like, you have to stay home. You have to get a test. Um, you're allowed to do a rat. So I did a rat, negative. Um... But yeah, no, so before that, um, I did have, like, I, I missed bonsai, um, I missed bonsai today, but I missed bonsai last week because um, I'd woken up feeling really, like, queasy and dizzy and um, just really tired, so I, like, stayed in bed the whole day. I had, I had even set up the rice cooker to make my onigiri to take to bonsai, 
Um, but yeah, in the morning I was just like, I can't. And it's actually kind of lucky I got sick because Sydney, that's when the rain was really bad in Sydney. Like there's places that flooded. I live on a hill, fortunately, so no issues for me. But um, yeah, no, but I was like sick that day. Um, and I think, I can't remember, like maybe the next two days I was okay. I think on Thursday I was able to do a bit of work outside, but then... No, maybe Wednesday I did work outside. I don't know the times. Anyway, um, then, yeah, told them a close contact, did my rat, it's negative. Um, there was one day, maybe on Friday, I had really bad stomach pain, spent a lot of time on the toilet. And then after that, I was really tired and just slept the rest of the day pretty much. Patreon already knows some of the story. <laughs> That's where all the TMI comes out, doesn't it? Um, <sighs> Yeah, join my cult. <laughs> Get all the gossip. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, no, that was one day. One day it was mainly like gastrointestinal issues. Then the next day I had a really bad headache that just wouldn't go away even though I was taking Panadol Nurofen. Um, and then I was tired. And then I think the day after that, just a mild headache and I was mostly fine. And then, yeah. So that's about it as far as COVID. I mean... I don't know, like it's really hard for me to know if I'm sick because I've been like, I've been depressed so many times and I had really bad depression a few years back. So, um, and you know, you do get some physical symptoms from that. And so for me, it's actually hard for me to tell the difference between actually being sick and being depressed unless I get something really obvious like a cough. If it's just this feeling of not being quite right, then I could be depressed, I could be sick, I don't know. So that's about the level of sickness. Like maybe I, the other thing is because I'm told I'm a close contact, I'm like, okay, do I actually have these symptoms or am I just overthinking it and trying to notice things on purpose? Like, yeah, confirmation bias. So, you know, there was a day where I felt like I was breathing out sickness, but I'm like, am I imagining that? Like, you know, when you are sick and like when you breathe, it just feels like breathing out sickness. I don't know if anyone else gets that or understands what I mean, but I felt like that, but I was like, am I imagining it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, the other thing is I have chronic hay fever so um, I was taking kids Dimetap because that's all I can handle without getting depressed and so if I was going to have a sniffly nose that might have suppressed it so I didn't notice any of that um, I didn't develop a cough so yay me um, you know the people I was a close contact to they developed a cough I didn't I guess because I don't go close enough to many people or spend much time with people to really catch much. Maybe I only got a little bit. Um, yeah, no, I didn't get a cough. Did I get a sore throat? I got a dry throat. Um, maybe it was a little bit sore. Today, it's a little bit sore, but that's because yesterday I did like a two-hour singing session. Oh my god, you know, this whole Ukraine thing, right? I've heard the Ukrainian national anthem maybe three or four times and then it stayed in my head for a week and so I was like okay two hour singing session surely one of these songs will get stuck in my head instead no it was still the anthem <laughs> but I did some singing again today and um yeah no I think it's finally finally out of my head I don't know there's just some fun melodic stuff in their anthem like you know going up in steps going down in steps and then like these little jump things and so my singing brain was like that's kind of fun <laughs> and then it just didn't leave my brain even though I don't understand the words um, I looked them up though very appropriate um, you know <laughs> probably a bit more interesting than the Aussie anthem um, <coughs> oh my gosh I inhaled some spit from talking too much it's been a while since I've talked this much you know, I actually noticed with singing, I'm like, <clears throat> singing, the growling's easy, the high notes are easy, but the chest voice, which is where I've always struggled, that's more like your speaking level voice instead of your high voice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I noticed the, the speaking level voice was a little bit difficult to sing in. And I'm like, is that because I'm out of practice? Because I haven't been practicing it that much. Um, or is it because I ge was genuinely probably sick and there's still maybe something lingering? I don't know. Um, but yeah, maybe out of practice. And so um, oh, it's so hard to know these kinds of things. Sorry. But yeah, I'm realizing I need to practice at least singing so that I don't like lose my voice. Um, especially if I can't make as many videos. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I should keep making videos. I'm trying to make videos like part of my routine so I don't forget how to talk to people because I, I'm i not really 
wasn't going out as much. Like, even though things have settled in Sydney, like there's less COVID, there's less restrictions, I could go out if I want to. I kind of haven't been and so I only really talk to my family and the rest of the time I'm sitting on my own. I'm like, I should probably practice talking, especially like, you know, being a schizoid. I'm like, yeah, let's not, let's not forget how to talk to people. It took me so long to, you know, get to this point. Let's no, not go backwards. Um, anyway, yeah, no, it's been a while since I've talked and it's been a while since I've done proper singing instead of just the odd lazy sing. Um, but yeah, I think also being on that pill for ages, like I didn't even have the energy to sing and singing's kind of a big part of you know, stuff that I've worked on for years and it's one of the ways that I can feel stuff that I otherwise wouldn't. And yeah, on that pill I just had no interest in singing, um, found it really hard to listen to music. Uh, I mean, I've been finding it hard to listen to music for ages, but yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so like it's possible that having maybe COVID or at least some kind of illness, um, I think tomorrow I need to do one more rat just to check whether or not I've got COVID, but I'm guessing it's going to be negative, especially because they're not as sensitive as PCR. Um, but yeah, I had maybe COVID. Um, and then what else was the other thing? Oh, the weather. Um, yeah, no, so the weather has coincided um, with with my improved energy levels because like it was just raining for ages we're in La Nina in Australia um and so like well at least on the east coast um La Nina is the weather pattern that brings lots of water lots of rain and it just rains like crazy and it's worse than last year's La Nina um El Nino is the opposite and that's when we get really dry droughts and stuff and then presumably at some point we just get normal weather <laughs> Does that exist anymore? But no, it's La Nina. So it's been like piercing down. And I think there's a weather pattern that goes around the globe. It like takes a month. And so when it comes back and it coincides with La Nina, this is my theory. I don't know if it's true. So don't quote me on the science. But I think when that, you know, circling pattern around the equator comes back and coincides with La Nina, we get this huge dumping of rain. Um, and I think that maybe has passed and then it'll come back around and if La Nina is still here in a month, we'll get more of this madness. But there's actually been some sun the last few days. And so potentially a bit more sun, a bit less of that humid, blur, oppressive rain atmosphere. Maybe that has also contributed to my mood. Like there's a lot of things that have coincided. But what I'm thinking is like, yeah, there's a lot of maybes. Um, but I also had maybes at the start of taking that pill. And I'm just like, there's so many maybes. Like, yeah, it could be, but... Yeah, it could be but. Okay, at what point am I going to say, that's a lot of buts. Maybe it was that pill that was messing me up. And given my history of reacting badly to a lot of medications, I think, yeah, it probably is that. Sorry, I keep getting off track, so I'm sorry if I've, like, gone on tangents and taken a while to get to the point and hopefully, like, we, we've come back on track. I think that different pill was just not good for me and I'm not going to experiment with anything else because I'd rather be like this like yeah okay I feel sad or felt sad this morning I've, I've managed to perk myself up and just push through it although because I felt sad this morning I just went back to bed for ages and didn't get up until about lunchtime so mm. but yeah then I had lunch and I think I was pottering around for a bit and eventually I just made myself sing and maybe that's helped me perk back up instead of just feeling sad for no reason. Um, yeah, so stuff and things, and now I can at least act like I'm not sad. Uh, there's an update. I think that's long enough, isn't it? Until I, like, come up with some other stuff. But I was thinking about, um, you know, live streaming, but... <laughs> Almost every time I think of live streaming, like, you know, someone will do something and I'm just like, yeah, I'd rather not deal with that, that person potentially popping up in the chat. So, yeah, but also, um, oh, just, you know, things right now. Anyway, so obviously I'm, because I'm in, you know, COVID jail, <laughs> I didn't get to go to the studio on Saturday. So when I'm out of jail... I'll probably go in so for the patreon guys that's when the next studio update will be um and then i'm thinking of maybe going in on monday as well but we'll see how that goes because this saturday i'm actually going to be teaching bonsai so i can't go to the studio um 
Uh, but yeah, so I had to miss bonsai today because I'm in isolation. Oh, I think my boss is probably like, oh no, because <laughs> there's always a lot of work. But, you know, I'm sure I'm sure he'll do okay. Um, I feel a little bit bad not going, but oh my gosh. Oh, so performance. Um, I'm performing at Eternity at uh, the Factory Theatre on the 26th. Yeah, on the 26th of this month, so that's in a couple weeks. Um, and if anyone bothers to look that up, you may notice it's an aerials event. Um, I don't do aerials. We have seen me do or attempt chin-ups in the past, and that didn't go well, and my arms haven't improved since then. Um, I was sort of filming an update because I thought I'd try to get there in two months, but um, I think once I tried taking this pill, it just, I couldn't, I couldn't even make myself go and hang off the bar it was just so yeah anyway but so it's an aerials event but it's a metal aerials event and obviously i'm not going to be the one hanging from the apparatus i'm there um to sing rather than dangle so um if you're in sydney i'm only going to be doing one song one one short act but if you like metal and you like that sort of circus stuff um might be interesting to have a look at it Otherwise, um, yeah, you miss out. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, no, I'd like to do more performance, um, but I think this is a good one to sort of just, like, you know, lead me into it instead of trying to jump into anything big, and I want to write some more music before I do a bigger performance. My, the open mic I used to play at still hasn't opened again as far as I know, so that's a bit sad because I felt comfortable there and you only need a few songs, um, if I want to do a proper gig, I'm going to need a bigger set list. And I'm just like, oh, I'm not sure that I'm there yet. And I kind of want to do something new. I don't want to do the same old songs that I've got. So maybe I'll sit down and write some new music. But yeah. Anyway, um, stuff and things. Yes, I'm playing with my hair. I think that is my new, like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just like, like, like a thinking action or something. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not that I feel uncomfortable talking to the camera, because the camera is easy, but maybe it's a thinking sort of thing. It's like a distraction, like, you know, like how, maybe like how autistic people get the fidget spinners or something like that. Maybe it's a bit like that, but my own, I don't know. I just think it's interesting that I do this because at the start of the video I don't think I was but then at some point in the video I started doing it and then once I do it it's like oh yeah I remember I've got short hair and it's kind of fun to play with um observations and things anyway <sighs> hopefully I have energy to film more stuff um because I have I have some more punk rave to do and I'm um, kind of excited for that anyway rambling I think I will just I'll just go um yeah stay safe guys sounds like China's having a big problem with COVID at the moment and there's more of it everywhere again because there's another strain and I don't know which strain I might have gotten <laughs> I think I if I did get COVID it was only a little bit so I don't know I've, I've had for the three vaccinations plus a maybe COVID um, I hope I don't get it again. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm bulletproof for the next, you know, couple months or so. Cross fingers. <laughs> My god, isn't the world just falling apart right now? There's so much crap going on. Enjoy your lives while you have them! <laughs>